Mr. Brosecrantz is energetic, he's enthusiastic, um, he has a heart and a passion for serving the people of Oklahoma and especially the people in our district here in Norfolk. And so when I became a teacher, but I saw that the tested subjects had like this hierarchy, like reading and math, and that my subject, you know, geography, was just a joke. As I moved on, I became kind of an activist, an absolute education activist. My main message was that we bring back creativity to the classroom. Uh, don't make our schools these these testing factories and, that they've become. So by the time they got to pre-K and kindergarten, it, it kind of the curriculum kind of went all about the test again. Each kindergarten, how to take a test, those type of things. Mm -hmm. And so I fought even harder when I saw that, and I was like, well, I'm, I just can't believe that's that's what we're going to do to our kids. It's this outcome-based education, this this corporate reform. What can you do for businesses? See so what we can do. And they don't understand that, that educating kids to a level that they need to educate them, it's expensive. It just is. You can streamline it by, you know, pushing technology or making schools a little bit more uh, virtual or whatever, blah, blah, blah. But you can't eradicate it and you can't just cut it off unless it's a purposeful thing. Which I think it's a purposeful thing. Well, I expect and I have full confidence that people continue to be a fierce advocate for public education and for what's best for our children. Um, fully funding public education is a priority. I know as play-based initiative is a big priority. Um, making sure teachers are respected in their field and that um, they are treated as the professionals that they are.